Hello and welcome to Breezy Chatter. Today I'm going to be talking about Married at First Sight, Season 16, Episode 2, Runaway Groom. Thank you to those who have subscribed to my channel. Your subscription is highly appreciated and let's get started. So it looks like in Episode 2 we're going to see three weddings. We're going to continue seeing Kirsten and Shaq get married. And Kirsten didn't seem too pleased when she laid eyes on Shaq. But Shaq, on the other hand, was quite taken by Kirsten. He made it known to her and all of those who were attendants at the wedding. He told her that God knew what he was doing when he made her. And he was quite pleased. You can see the pleased look on his face. And it's kind of sad to watch because we all can tell that Kirsten is not interested in Shaq romantically she's not attracted to him their vows were nice uh kirsten said that she was going to express her true feelings and she said she was going to give the marriage her all we'll have to wait and see how true that is and shaq also said that she's his newest best friend he said he's looking for a joyful time between the two of them now as far as the kiss they did not kiss on the lips she gave him the side of her head to kiss i don't even think he kissed her on the cheek he kissed her hair and shaq said he wasn't worried about that he was quite happy that she had boundaries he said that he could understand it considering they don't really know each other and he's quite positive about this whole experience meanwhile we have kirsten saying that She's not attracted to Shaq and that he has two strikes against him. The first strike is that Shaq is younger than she is, but it looks like they're only a year apart. So I don't know what the big deal is there. I don't even understand how that constitutes as a strike. And the second strike is that he's bald. She said that she does not like men who are bald. So that's giving me Mirla tease. It reminds me of how disgusted Mueller was with Gil because she did not want a guy with a bald head and that's exactly what she got. In Kirsten's defense, she did say that although she's not physically attracted to him, his character, his personality makes up for it. The question is this, does Kirsten have what it takes to look past not being physically attracted to Shaq? Does Shaq have enough going on for himself that she would be willing to stay married to him for the rest of her life? Although she knows off rip, she's not attracted to him. We'll have to wait and see what happens. She did say she would give it her all. That already remains to be seen. He has two strikes against him and he doesn't even know it yet. And what is it? Three strikes and you're out, right? So he's one strike away from being shown the door. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. So we also got to see Gina and Clint get married. Uh, we did find out a few extra tidbits about Clint that we probably could have done without. First one is that he's had at least 65 partners, something along those lines. Um, I don't know why we needed to know that, but okay. And we also got to hear some of his friends say that when Clint was in Florida, he had thought he found the one and it sounds like he got burned out there and then found his way to Nashville. So it sounds like he may be on the rebound because we really don't know the time frame between him being burned in Florida and him finding someone to marry in Nashville, which is Gina. So hopefully we'll find out more about that. As far as first impressions go, they ha both have a playful energy. They seem to like each other. Now, as far as attraction, I could not tell if either of them were attracted to each other. We'll have to wait and see what happens further. It appeared as though the wedding rings didn't fit. So I don't know if that's considered a bad omen. So you guys tell me what you think about that in the comments. And as they got to talk a little bit, they found out that they both live in the same building. And our final wedding for episode two was Nicole and Chris. I think they had a really good first impression. There was no awkward looks, no looks of disappointment. The vows were nice. Chris said he was excited and he's going to be a thoughtful husband. And meanwhile, Nicole said she's going to keep her promises and she's going to respect protect and encourage their marriage. 
So the kiss was nice. They kissed on the lips. And they did get to talk and get to know each other briefly after the wedding. And they found out that they both talk a lot. Uh, they made it clear that they were both attracted to each other. So that's a plus. And what I found interesting about Chris and also about Shaq is that they got some of their unique qualities out of the way shortly after they were married. Uh, Shaq made it his business to explain the scar on his forehead. And he explained to Kirsten that he was in a car accident, his whole family. And uh, fortunately, they all survived, but he has that scar. And then we have also Chris explaining to Nicole how he had an injury at work and he lost a part of his finger. And Nicole was really cool about it. She said she's not bothered by it. And it sort of reaffirms what I thought about them in the first place. I really think that they will stay together. We have two more weddings to see in episode three. We're going to see Jasmine and Eris get married. And we're also going to see Dominique and McKinley get married. And maybe at that point we'll find out what's the drama that's going on between Dominique and McKinley because clearly there's something going on there. We're also going to get to see the receptions and that's where things get interesting because then the family start to grill the married couples. We're going to have skeptics. Of course, most, most parents are not too pleased to find out that their child is signed up to marry a stranger. So we're going to have Toya asking McKinley all kinds of questions. Nicole's father is going to be grilling Chris. We're going to see Kirsten's friends grilling Shaq. And Clint is also going to be getting a grilling also. So I'm looking forward to episode three. It should be quite entertaining and informative at the same time. And that is my commentary. If you liked it, hit like, subscribe, and leave comments. Thank you for your time. Until next time, ta-ta.